Yo, what's up guys? This is Mike Trade, and as you can see, my layout is looking a little bit different today. That's because I'm going to be hunting Ghastly over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash MikeTrade34, during the month of October. So if you'd like to join us for some live shiny hunting, I'd love to see you there. But uh, yeah, I'm going to show you how you can hunt Ghastly for yourself. Really awesome hunt for Halloween. So first thing you're going to need is a Pokemon with Sweet Scent, and if you're not exactly sure what that does or how it works, I'm going to leave a link up in the corner to my Sweet Scent tutorial. Definitely check that video out if you haven't uh, before proceeding with this one. But assuming that you know what Sweet Scent does, we're going to go ahead and use it here. And the reason we're doing this is because encounter rate is absolutely horrendous in Pokemon Tower. It's very, very slow. So using Sweet Scent uh, is basically just a way to guarantee consistent encounters. Now here comes our target. It is worth noting that Ghastly is most prevalent on the third floor of Pokemon Tower. It's 90% and it's also 9% Cubone and 1% Haunter. So if you're going for Ghastly, this is definitely the spot to do it. Uh, second thing you'll need for this hunt is a Pokemon that has the move Taunt. Doesn't necessarily have to be Gengar, but as I'll explain in a minute, um, ghost Pokemon such as Gengar uh, are actually very, very useful for this hunt. But the reason that we want Taunt is because Ghastly actually knows a move called Curse. And for those that don't know, when used by a non-ghost type Pokemon, Curse increases your attack and defense by one stage and lowers speed by one stage. But when used by ghost types specifically, it actually has a completely different effect where it halves the user's HP and then it places a curse on the opposing Pokemon that whittles away its HP at the end of every turn. So you don't want the Ghastly KOing itself with curse, which is why we're going to go ahead and taunt it to prevent it from using that. And it is worth noting that here in Generation 3, unfortunately, taunt only works for two turns, including the turn that it's used on. So you're going to have to refresh it every other turn, essentially. Now, with that free turn, we're going to go ahead and use a move like Hypnosis to try to put the Ghastly to sleep. And it worked right away, so this is perfect. At this point, I would just go ahead and throw uh, Pokeballs at it. But let's say you miss your Hypnosis or whatever move you're trying to status it with. Then you want to keep alternating with Taunt just to make sure that it doesn't curse. Now, you probably noticed that my Gengar is holding a Leftovers, and that's because if I get unlucky and this Ghastly wakes up before I can catch it, and uses Curse on the turn that it wakes up, um, I'm not going to be able to prevent that at all, so it is going to cut its own HP. However, um, in this game, once a Pokemon has already used Curse, as long as the afflicted opponent is still in the battle, like if I don't switch out my Gengar, then the next time it uses Curse, it will fail. So I put a Leftovers on my Gengar, and I also have some healing items like Super Potions, just to make sure that my Gengar is not KO'd, uh, if that were to happen. So just another little precaution, something to keep in mind, but you should be fine. Uh, very unlikely that that would happen. Now, the reason that I'm using Gengar, uh, in addition to it having Taunt and Hypnosis, is that it also has the Levitate ability, and should you run into the 9% Cubone as a Shiny, all of its moves are normal and ground type, so being a ghost type with Levitate, you're actually completely immune to all of those, and it's a really easy capture, so kind of like two birds with one stone, but uh, you know, if you don't have access to Gengar, I completely understand not everyone has uh, you know, the games to trade with, so you don't have to use it, but uh, you know, just my personal preference but definitely going to want to have a Pokemon with Taunt. So that's basically how you do it. Please let me know if you have any questions about this particular hunt. And uh, yeah, happy Halloween, guys. Like I said, you can uh, join us over at twitch.tv forward slash MikeTroy34. All of next month, we're going to be hunting this Ghastly here. But until then, take care, good luck on your hunts, and I'll see you in the next one.